Welcome to the FCICA product webinar series. We are pleased to have Russell Cleveland of Milliken with us here today. Russell, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I am happy to be here today. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy in these crazy times. So I'm gonna to present to you today Milliken's solutions for the flooring industry. And if I could just kind of summarize what I wanna to cover today, I, I wanna to take a few minutes to um, just, just introduce Milliken to FCICA. Some of you may be familiar, some may not. So I just wanna take a couple minutes to talk about uh, our company. And then I want to spend the bulk of the time talking about our very unique cushion back modular carpet tile and the advantages that our product brings to the end user. But also, I want to talk about the advantages that our carpet tile brings to the dealer and to the installer. And then finally, I want to just, uh, I want us all to gain an understanding of the other floor solutions, flooring solutions that Milliken offers. Uh, to this industry. And I'm just gonna show four or five slides uh, that you could look at while I tell you just a little bit about our company that may give you an idea for some of the products that we produce and some of the markets that we serve. So Milliken and Company has really been around a long time. As a matter of fact, later this year, Milliken and Company is gonna turn 155 years old. So we've been around for a long time uh, it's always been a privately held company by the Milliken family, so it may not be as readily known to the public as some other companies. But 155 years ago, um, it started uh, as a small company in Portland, Maine, and has since grown to include over uh, 7,000 employees in four continents all over the world. Milliken is a very science-based and research company. Uh, Milliken actually employs over 100 PhDs uh, that are all housed at our global headquarters in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And what we do with this team is that we go out into the marketplace and we hear the voice of the customer. We understand the needs and the opportunities and the obstacles you guys deal with. We take these challenges back to this research and development team and they create solutions. That's what Milliken does. We create solutions for our customers. Um, we believe as one of our core principles, our core foundational philosophies that doing business in an ethical manner is just vital. It's one of our core philosophies. Ethosphere, the Ethosphere Institute um, every year recognizes companies that practice best ethical practices. And not only did Milliken receive the most ethical company award in 2019, but we're one of only seven companies in the whole world that have received this company every year since this uh, survey was started in 2007. Quality and safety are obviously also core foundational principles of ours, and we have a global quality policy that drives everything that we do. Every one of our manufacturing plants are OSHA certified VPP star plants. That means we have a very special relationship with OSHA and we've gone over and above all their requirements for safety, for a safe manufacturing environment. All of our manufacturing facilities are certified to ISO 9001, and we employ lean manufacturing practices uh, in combination with ISO to manufacture our products. And because of our commitment to the safety process and to our associates, we can literally say that you are safer in a Millican plant than you are in your own home. Milliken also has a strong belief in protecting the environment. Uh, we're a founding member of the U.S. Green Building Council, member of the uh, of the Well Living Lab, um, and uh, we have a pledge that we don't send anything to the landfill. Milliken hadn't sent anything to the landfill since 2002. And Milliken has four divisions, and one of those divisions is the floor covering division. We have a global presence because we believe that serves our customers around the world better. We have four manufacturing facilities, one in LaGrange, Georgia, uh, one in Wigan in the UK, in England, uh, near Shanghai, China, and in Sydney, Australia. And in addition to that, to serve our customers better, we have 18 showrooms around the world globally. So, 
Uh, just wanted y'all to know just a little bit more about the company than, than we sell carpet. People say that um, you come in contact with a Millican product about 20 to 30 times a day and you don't even know it because most of the products that we sell are are sold to manufacturers who convert them into other things. And the only thing that we sell directly to the customer is our carpet. So this is really what I want to focus on today. And if you wanted to kind of title the section of this presentation, I would call it the beauty of the cushion back carpet tile. Several years ago, in the early 1980s, Mr. Milliken, who was a fantastic visionary leader, said, look, we need to, we need to create a carpet tile product that's differentiated from anything else out there in the market. And he asked his leadership to come back to him with a strategy. And they came back and said, look, let's, people want the cushion, right? We install residential carpet with cushion. It provides that extra comfort. So let's develop a carpet tile with cushion on the back. Long story short, Milliken developed a carpet tile for commercial and hospitality and residential use that had an attached cushion as a part of the standard product. And I, I just really want to highlight for you today some of the advantages of this cushion back carpet tile, how it brings advantages to the end user and to the installer. And you can see here seven categories that I could really talk in great detail about, about why our cushion back carpet tile is so differentiated and brings so many advantages to the marketplace. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes and roll through maybe two or three of these advantages so you can get a feel for what we really offer the customer. You know, today's workplace is so significantly different than it used to be. It's, it's not unusual that when you go into a workplace, upwards of 70 to 80 percent of the people are either standing to do their job or the a combination of sitting and standing to do their job. And when you have a cushion on the back of the carpet tile, that brings a level of underfoot comfort to the end user and also adds a level of ergonomic improvement that you won't get with any other carpet tile. Studies done out of the uh, University of Pittsburgh show that if you're standing and doing your job on a carpet tile that has cushioned back as opposed to a hard back, then you can reduce muscle strain by as much as 24%. And this is great for the commercial environment, but I live in LaGrange, Georgia, and we recarpeted LaGrange High School. Carpet in a high school is, is also a new idea that's sweeping across the nation. Um, but you know who really appreciates this is teachers, because when they stand up and teach all day, all day long and they go home and their feet and their legs don't hurt, it makes a huge difference in their ability to teach and their productivity. I would also say that acoustic properties are improved when you have a cushioned back carpet tile. You know, loud and noisy and chaotic uh, work environments are associated with lower productivity and higher turnover. And when you can reduce the noise in that environment, your productivity goes up, your turnover goes up, and your absenteeism, your turnover goes down, and your absenteeism goes down. And that's because when you have this cushioned back carpet tile, it absorbs so much of the noise that's generated in the room. And you guys know as well as I do that all the, the hotels and the hospitality business and uh, all of these customers are very concerned about noise, noise generation, noise rever reverberation and how it penetrates through a wall. And you can, there's a sound demonstration here that I'll play that'll just give you an idea um, of the sound. This is an ASTM test that shows the difference between noise generation on a hard surface versus a carpet tile with hard backing, maybe PVC or thermoplastic, and then our open cell cushion back carpet tile. If we could play this sound bit now, Okay, we may be having some technical difficulties or I may have done something wrong, so I apologize for that. But this is just a sound test and you can see the graphic um, output of the sound test that when you have an open cell cushion back tile, you're, you absorb as much as 40 percent more noise than with a hard back carpet tile. So this cushion back carpet tile does bring acoustic properties as well. Um, I would also say that appearance retention is very important and another advantage of the cushion back carpet tile. Um, when we talk about carpet life or carpet life cycle or cradle to grave and all these things, we, we believe that 
conversation generally goes right to what do you do to the carpet when you pick it up off the floor? But we believe that that one of the most important variables that people overlook is how long the carpet can stay on the floor. And we all know that there's a lot of variables out there that impact the appearance retention or how long the carpet is going to maintain its original look. You know, the yarn density, the yarn type, the face weight, all those things are important. But in our studies, what we found is that the backing system contributes more to the appearance retention than anything else. And when you put a carpet tile in place that has a cushioned back, then you can get as much as 40 to 50% longer life out of a cushioned back product tile than you can with a hardback tile of the same general weight class. So that in and of itself greatly reduces the cost of your flooring system over a long period of time. And that's because when you walk on a carpet tile that has a hard back, like thermoplastic or PVC backing, there's only one place for that energy of that traffic to go, whether it's wheel or foot. The energy of that traffic is going to go into the face of that yarn. It's the only place it can go. But with a cushion back, that cushion dissipates that energy throughout the tile so that you don't wear out the face fibers so quickly. Um, and finally, I'll talk about moisture mitigation properties of our cushion back tile. You know, I, I've only been a member of FC, if I, FCICA since uh, the fall. I joined in time to go to the mid-year last year, so I haven't even been a member for a year yet. And I've been to both conventions. And one of the things that I heard more than anything else was people talk about moisture opportunities. So I, I know that people deal with moisture in flooring installations all the time. And we believe that our cushion back carpet tile offers the best moisture mitigation system on the market. These are a couple of the common failures that we see when moisture gets trapped under a tile. Uh, it engages the pH of the concrete, the high alkaline salts, and it, it can re-emulsify the adhesive and just turn into this big ooey gooey mess under your tiles that has an impact on the quality of the flooring system and indoor air quality and everything else. Here's another example of a flooring failure where vapor, moisture vapor penetrated the carpet tiles for so long that it really overcame its ability to maintain its dimensional stability. And now you have uh, the growing and the shrinking, you have the gaps. But also if you lift up one of these tiles, you see some other things happening under here. You can see that white crusty substance, which is the, the evidence that uh, water vapor turned into liquid water and drew the salts, the high alkaline salts um, out of the concrete. You also see look, mold and mildew growing under there. So whenever you have water under a carpet tile, you really engage the possibility for mold and mildew and emuls uh, emulsification of adhesive and several other failures. So when we talk about moisture, we talk about it in a couple of different ways with new construction and renovation. And just really quickly, what happens when we have a new construction, a newly poured concrete, is once you add that water to the concrete mix, the Portland cement powder, that hydrolysis begins to take place and the concrete starts to form. And, and vertical channels are formed inside that concrete slab. And one of the important things to remember is that water always travels under normal circumstances water always travels through concrete in the form of vapor right and water vapor is lighter than air so it rises to the top and as part of the natural drying and curing process that excess water will evaporate travel upwards through the concrete and dissipate out into the environment but for whatever reason if we put flooring down on that on top of that concrete slab that uh, may not have released all of its water then you put a hard back tile or an impermeable uh, flooring system down on top of that concrete slab, then that water vapor is still going to rise to the top of that concrete and try to exit, but it's going to be trapped between the concrete slab and the carpet tile, right? So what's the temperature changes in that room, just like kind of water, like water on the outside of your glass, that liquid, that, that water vapor is going to condense into liquid water. And once you get the formation of that liquid water, then it's just a death spiral, right? You engage the salts, you raise the pH of the, uh, or you engage the high pH of the concrete slab, 
you have the opportunity for mold and mildew growth, and there's just all kinds of problems if you ever allow the water vapor to form into liquid water. Now, if we're talking about a renovation, then basically the, the vapor retarder comes into play. If you have a vapor retarder in place, then you're protecting your concrete slab from the onset of new moisture, because if there's moisture in the foundation below that concrete slab, it's gonna rise and it's gonna go through that concrete slab and then it's gonna to try to uh, dissipate into the environment. And if you have a flooring system on top of that concrete slab that can't facilitate the movement of that water vapor, then you're going to uh, gather water vapor, it's going to condense into liquid water, and then you're gonna have all these issues, right? I don't want to give you the impression that every floor system that we ever put down is, is a failure because of moisture. We all know that's not the case. If you talk to industry experts, anywhere between six to 8% of flooring systems that go down do encounter some type of moisture opportunity. But the point I want to make is if you don't have a moisture failure, then you're paying not to have a moisture failure, right? Here's a lot of things that we do. We have, we have to remove all the, uh, existing adhesive. We have to prepare the floor. We have to maybe encapsulate the old adhesive that's there. That may cost 35 to 45 cents a square foot. You've got to do moisture testing around 20, 20, 20 cents a square foot. And then if we see any moisture there, we may engage in some type of moisture mitigation. There's a lot of moisture mitigation systems out there and they may, they may cost anywhere from 35 cents to $6 a square foot. And if you get in a situation where you have a failure, then it may cost you in a worst case scenario upwards of $10 a square foot to mitigate that site and to do what you need to do to get the flooring system reinstalled successfully. So moisture system failures are, are very expensive. These experts say that we spend about 900 million to a billion dollars a year on mitigation, new product, I'm sure litigation's in there and all of that. And there's a lot of solutions for moisture out in the marketplace, but really we think a lot of them are, are Band-Aid solutions. And, and I'll explain why I say that because a lot of the mitigation systems out there don't really deal with the root cause of the problem. Here's some of the mitigation systems that are, that are out there, right? We, we all know about curing compounds and admixtures. We may choose to use a, a high moisture uh, adhesive or spray on silicates as a reactive penetrant to kind of lock the moisture in the slab. Uh, the VersaShield, the membrane type systems that just separate the moisture in the slab from the flooring system, epoxy coatings, right? All of these things we can do to mitigate um, moisture uh, coming in contact with the flooring system. Um, and, and I said they're Band-Aid solutions because they don't deal directly with the root cause of the problem. So what solutions are out there that work? First of all, vapor retarders. Uh, vapor retarders are critical. We recommend a class, uh, class D minimum vapor retarder. And if you have a vapor retarder, the right classification in place, it will protect that concrete slab from the onset of moisture from the foundation below it. Very effective. Sometimes we have to replace slabs. I've seen customers have to replace slabs because the moisture uh, evaporation rate was so high or the slab has been chemically abated and you can't put a flooring system on it anymore. You can dig your slab up and put a new slab in. It's expensive, but it works. Uh, a new concrete overlay. I've got a slab with no vapor retarder. I want to convert it to an office space. Um, I don't want to dig it up, so I'm going to put down a vapor retarder and I'm going to pour a new slab on top of the old slab, right? There's loads of logistical issues to deal with when you do this. It's expensive, but it works, right? We've seen this real life application uh, probably in use more when people convert warehouse space to commercial office space. Or you could just say, look, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm just going to go to my concrete slab. I'm going to polish it up real nice and I'm just going to leave it bare. You will not have a moisture problem if you leave your concrete open, but you will be living and walking on concrete. And there are, there is at least one flooring technology, and that's our Millican cushion back carpet tile that is unaffected by moisture and alkalinity in the slab below it. And I'll get to the explanation of that in just a couple minutes. So 
if I was specking a job, I would want to know the answer to these few vital questions. First, I would want to know, you know, what are the RH limits and the pH limits of the product and the adhesive that I'm putting down on this floor, right? The other thing to understand is if you've got high RH, you're going to have high pH. They go hand in hand. And this is changing a little bit, but at the time that we put this together, um, a lot of the standard adhesives out there say we're good with an RH up to 85% and a pH of 9. And a lot of the products out there would say, you know, we're good for installation, 85 to 88, and below a pH of 9. Every now and then you'll find an adhesive or a product that's good up to maybe 10 or 11 pH. But one of the things that I learned about two and a half years ago is that under normal circumstances, the standard or expected relative humidity in a concrete slab of a healthy concrete slab is about 88%. And the standard or expected pH of a healthy concrete slab is about 12, right? So if you're putting flooring systems down that only have limits up to 80 or 85 or 9 or 10 pH, there's a gap there, right? We're, we're missing something. I would also recommend that, you know, let's read all the fine print in the warranty. Why do people give you a 15-year, 10 or 15-year warranty on the product? They only give you a one-year or maybe a two-year warranty on the adhesive that goes with it, right? That just doesn't quite make sense. Um, I would also want to know, maybe most importantly, I'm gonna to skip to number six, but most importantly, does the solution, does the system that I'm installing or specking, does the solution prevent the formation of liquid water? Does it deal with the root cause of the problem? So when Milliken, being a science-based and research company, went into great detail to understand why we have moisture failures or really why there are moisture failures in the field. And we developed a product that deals with the root cause of the problem, which is moisture vapor. This is the, this is a cross section of our carpet tile. And from the top down, you'll see we have the yarn on the face, right? We have the tufted face fiber. And we've tucked that into a primary backing. And then we have a moisture barrier in our product. It is an asphaltine uh, hot melt type product that creates a liquid barrier. It's liquid proof, but not vapor proof. So if you spill something on the top of the carpet, the liquid will not penetrate that moisture barrier and get down onto the floor. And then the backing of the carpet is really where we're differentiated. We have an open cell cushion backing. And then on the bottom, we have a non-woven felt, right? And when you take our product and put it on the floor, same concrete slab, same moisture, same physics and chemistry and thermodynamics and all of this, this water vapor is still going to rise and travel upwards through the concrete slab. Um, and again, if you have a hardback tile uh, on top of that concrete slab, then the moisture vapor is going to stop and it's going to build up. But what happens with our product is this, moist, this moisture vapor <clears throat> exits the concrete slab and enters this felt backing. And this is a Millican produced product and it's air permeable. We measure the air permeability on every production lot. So the, so the water vapor can travel right through the felt. And then it travels into the open cell polyurethane cushion backing. <clears throat> Excuse me. And open cell, closed cell, right? Closed cell polyurethane is, is kind of like when my wife orders something from Amazon, right? And it comes wrapped up in all this bubble wrap. I'm nervous and anxious and I'll grab that bubble wrap and I'll start popping it. And when I've popped all the bubbles, there's no protection left because closed cell um, polyurethane relies on the integrity of the bubble for its cushion. Open cell is different. It doesn't rely on the bubble. It relies on the wa walls, right? We froth and apply this polyurethane ourselves. So instead of having bubbles, you've got thousands and thousands <coughs> of little channels. So when the <clears throat> when the moisture vapor exits the concrete, passes through the felt into the polyurethane, open cell polyurethane, it can continue to travel. And it will eventually travel to the seams 
where it can dissipate out into the environment freely. And actually, about 90 to 95% of that vapor exits through the seams, and about 5% of the vapor goes straight up through the tile. You remember I said it's liquid proof and not vapor proof, kind of like Gore-Tex, right? It allows it to breathe. So when we understood what we had here, um, we felt like, you know, based on the feedback that we were getting from the marketplace um, uh, and hearing that a lot of our customers were dealing with moisture failures in the field, we wanted to understand that that our product could really stand up to the moisture environment. So I'm the quality director for Millican's floor covering division, and I called my team together and I said, I want you to gather every single claim that we've ever had for moisture, and I want you to come back to me and we're gonna analyze this and we're gonna understand it to the nth degree as to why uh, we think our product's better. And they came back to me and they said, well, we've never had a moisture claim with our our carpet tile product. And I said, okay, I don't know if I believe you. So you go look through all of our phone records and emails and you even, you come back to me with a list of every time somebody even called and thought they had a moisture failure with our product. And this team came back to me and said, look, we have never had a moisture failure with our cushion back Millican carpet tile. We've never even had somebody come in to complain to us that they think they've had a Millican moisture uh, failure with uh, with with the Millican cushion back carpet tile. So we've developed a product here that allows Mother Nature to do what Mother Nature is going to do. Our product actually deals with the root cause of these failures by allowing this water vapor to do what it wants to do naturally. It wants to travel upwards and it wants to dissipate into the environment until there's equilibrium, right? Our product allows that. It does not trap that moisture vapor. So when that temperature changes, there's no moisture vapor there to turn into liquid water. And if you remember from your old high school chemistry test, if you ever, or chemistry class, if you ever had to take the pH of something, what's the first thing that you had to do? If you were going to test the pH of something, you had to drop a little drop of water on there and then put the litmus paper down in that drop of water, right? Otherwise, you can't test the pH. So if there's no liquid water under our carpet tile, then who cares what the pH is because there's never going to be any liquid water under that carpet tile to engage the pH. Right. So now that we understood what our product does from a science-based standpoint, how it allows vapor to travel freely into the environment, how we've just taken pH out of the equation, then we said, look, let's, let's, talk about how we can put this together and provide solutions for our customers. So I'm just going to walk through some of the solutions for you um, and what we offer here. If, you, if you're dealing with a new construction, then I'm going to, um, uh, well, if you're putting milk and carpet tile into a new construction environment, then I'm going to basically tell you, Look, if they built the building to code and they have their vapor barrier in place, you, know, you can put our standard product, our standard carpet tile product with the cushion backing and use our standard adhesive. And it doesn't matter whether it's on grade or above grade or below grade. You use our standard cushion back carpet tile with our standard adhesive and you install that system with no mitigation and you have a lifetime warranty on the product itself, and you have a lifetime warranty on the bond, right? If you want to, if you if you say that's great, but man, I really need to install this quickly, um, then we have another adhesive that we can sell you, Millican XT or Moisture Extreme Spray Adhesive, and you can install as soon as 30 days after that concrete slab is poured, and have a lifetime warranty on the performance of the product and a lifetime warranty on the uh, bond as well. Now, if you are installing in a renovation, I'm gonna ask you a question. Are you above grade or below grade? If you're above grade, then I'm gonna say, no worries, standard product, standard adhesive, lifetime warranty on the product and on the bond. And if you say you're 
installing carpet on grade or below grade, then I'm going to ask you if there's a vapor barrier in place. If there is a vapor barrier in place, no problem. Standard product, standard adhesive, lifetime warranty on the product and the bond. If you say, look, I know there's no vapor, bar vapor retarder in place, then I would say, look, use our Moisture XT spray, um, standard product, lifetime warranty on the product and on the bond. So all that sounds really good. And I said a couple of minutes ago that for any product that you spec, um, flooring product, adhesive mitigation system, I highly encourage you to take the few boring minutes to read through the installation instructions, the fine print in the warranty, and the terms and the conditions of the sale. It's just worth the read because you need to know what's in there. So what's the catch with us? What's in there? Right, right. What's in our fine print? I would ask a couple of things of you. First, if you go to the installation and you're ready to put carpet down, if there's puddles of water all over the floor, then don't install the carpet yet. And you would think that as it goes without saying, but I have had that conversation before. Um, I would also say that basically what we're talking about is the normal water vapor transmission from a concrete slab. If we have a situation with broken pipes or where there is uh, hydrostatic pressure and because of runoff or the geography around the building, whatever, if, you, and the, if the concrete slab integrity is lost, if you're forcing liquid water all the way through that concrete slab, that's, that's really a special cause and that's not what we're talking about. We do say that when you use our spray adhesive, that we have to remove all the old adhesive because we want that adhesive to bond to the concrete and not to the previous adhesive from the floor. Um, we ask that floor, floor preps perform in accordance with ASTM F710, except where we say you don't have to. And most of the time that means you don't have to remove all the old adhesive and you may or may not have to do any testing for RH or pH. Um, top common curing compounds need to be removed prior to the application of the adhesive. That's really an AST MS 710. That's not a Millikan requirement. And then we always recommend that you do a bond test uh, prior to the installation of the flooring system. Now, I have talked through a lot of the advantages of the, um, for the end user and some for the installer and for the dealer. But back to the installation benefits, I just want to say that we encourage people to look at the whole cost of the whole system, as opposed to when we're specking carpet, throwing out four or five samples and seeing if there's a nickel's worth of difference between them and going with the lowest cost, right? We totally believe that all these decisions need to be made together. And we believe we can offer savings that other companies can't. First, um, installation savings. Millikan's Carpetile is non-reactive, right? There will not be a chemical reaction between our Carpetile and anything, anything else out there. For instance, if you're removing a hardback tile that had PVC plasticizers in it or whatever, you don't necessarily have to go in there and scrape up all the old adhesive. Knock down the high ridges and then put our adhesive on top of it and you're ready to go. So there's less floor prep. There's also less floor prep because our carpet has a cushion on the back, unlike PVC or thermoplastic or hardback tiles. You have to do a lot of preparation and encapsulation to make sure there's no ridges or, or gaps or, or, or things sticking up because all of those things will telegraph through the carpet tile. And our cushion makes that a lot more forgiving. So there's installation savings because you have to do less floor prep uh, with our carpet tile. Um, and finally, I would say, I don't know if you guys have ever been in one of these meetings, but I have, and it's not fun. When there's any type of failure, you may have the GC and the installer and the manufacturers of the carpet and everybody else sitting around the table pointing fingers at each other, trying to figure out whose fault all these failures are, especially when it comes to uh, moisture. And in my experience, it's like the spec riders and the GCs kind of ride out all of that responsibility. And it seems that it tends to fall on the installation group, you know, to be responsible for the moisture performance 
of this flooring system. So what I'm what I'm telling you here is with this Millican flooring system comes peace of mind, right? Because when we sell you our flooring system with our standard product that has the cushion backed carpet tile and with our adhesive, you have peace of mind um, greater than with anybody else out there on market because Millican takes the responsibility for all of that, right? If there's a moisture failure, Millican takes responsibility. If there's a bond failure, Millican takes responsibility, right? So this system gives you peace of mind knowing that when you put Millican's flooring system on the floor, you, you're not going to have to sit around in one of these meetings hollering and screaming and trying to defend yourself about whose fault it is. We take on that reliability, uh, responsibility. And I can say we take it on with a very high confidence level because we've been putting this same cushioned back carpet tile out in the marketplace since 1986 and we've never had one single solitary moisture failure. Okay. Now, Millican offers other solutions. We've listened to what our customers have to say, and we've got a couple of other solutions that I at least want you to know about. If the floor has been chemically abated, nobody wants to be the first one back down on that concrete slab. So Millican, look, we think we do two things pretty well, textiles and chemicals, right? And with these research scientists that we have working on our behalf, we've now come up with a way that you can be the first one down on a chemically abated floor and Millican takes the responsibility. If a floor has been chemically abated, you can go in there and apply two coats of Millican's chemical abatement uh, product and then use our Traction Back Plus system to install over it. And Millican takes on the responsibility that that flooring system will remain intact over that chemically abated floor. Over oily floors, is another situation where people again may be converting warehouse space or something like that into office space and the floor is just saturated with oil. Again, you can use this um, barrier coating system to go over the top of an oily floor and then install our carpet with our Traction Back, traction back Plus system and Millican takes on the responsibility for, for the performance of the product and for the bond. And people, I talked mostly about carpet, but people are asking, you know, what about LVT? We just don't see that same offer um, out there for LVT. So we've taken this opportunity to expand and enhance our offering of systems and adhesives so that we can offer the same no test uh, warranty for LVT products as we can for carpet products. Everything that you see here are the technical data sheets for all six of our adhesives. And we think they're pretty user friendly. These are also available as handouts to you uh, after this presentation. But if you look, for instance, this is our LVT Moisture Extreme uh, adhesive with Acoustalock technology. So you can look across the top of the sheet and it tells you the limits on RH and pH and dwell time and working time how soon you can put traffic on there, heavy traffic, light traffic, rolling traffic. On the back, there's a lot of technical data uh, on the on this sheet about this particular adhesive. But this is all the information that you need to know about our um, adhesives that we offer. And finally, I would say, um, it can seem like it's a little bit complicated, but I've provided these sheets for you as handouts. And I also want to say, I'm going to try this screen share thing. Um, I also want to say that we've developed a tool to make it very easy for you to understand which adhesive that you need to use for your product. So I'm just going to share a website that we have and show you how easy it is. If you go to millicancarpet.com, you'll see this page right here. This is our home page. And then you can come over here to the technical spot and click on adhesives. And there is a there is a button you can click that says find your solution, right? Click on that button and this web page comes up. And you may want to say, look, I'm, I'm installing carpet tile. You can choose any of the products. I'm installing carpet tile. And this is a renovation and it is below grade. And there is 
a vapor retarder in place? And do I want to go adhesive or adhesive free? I want to use adhesive. There's your there's answer uh, that you would choose the non-reactive standard adhesive as a solution. If you wanted to use glue down LVT and say, look, I don't I don't have time. I don't want to do any moisture testing. Simple LVT Moisture XT with the Custalock technology, right? And again, the warranty is on Millican. And I'm going to try to click back to the stop sharing and click back to the slide control. Okay. Um, so there's just a great tool out there for helping you understand what adhesives you may need for your particular uh, installation. We also have a quality assurance technical team that's more than happy to take phone calls and talk to you about your specific um, installation scenario. And we'll be glad to walk you through all of this to help understand what solution is best for you, right? So that is the end of the presentation. And I think we've got a few minutes to take questions from the group. If there are any questions about anything that I've talked about today so far. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if any of you guys have questions, we've already got a couple waiting in here that I think you've touched on, but we can spend some time on. Um, and then if any of you in the audience have any questions, please, please put them in and um, we'd love to talk about them. All right. Um, so the first one I think you've touched on, um, who takes on the liability for all of these products, everything that we've been looking at today, if something goes wrong? Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest advantages of this system that we've developed. You know, when we sell you our system and we tell you there's never been a moisture failure, we mean it and we stand behind it. So if you install our system, Millican takes on the responsibility. If there's ever a moisture failure due to excess moisture vapor uh, evaporation, and we own that responsibility. Um, and then kind of related, how long has this product been in the market with without any moisture failures? Uh, we started developing the product back in the early 80s and went to market in 19, I don't remember if it was 1985 or 1986. So this cushion back product has been in the marketplace since at least 1986. So there's literally millions of yards of this product in the marketplace in hospitality uh, installations, in, mostly in contract and commercial applications, in government applications, and even in education. Uh, with zero moisture failures. Awesome. Um, are there un any other benefits to having a cushion backing on the tile? Yeah, there there are a lot of benefits to it. I ran through a couple of them at the first, and I didn't want to spend too much time on that. But obviously, the underfoot comfort. I mean, you walk from a hardback tile to a cushion back tile, and you can tell the difference on your feet. And if you spend a lot of time on your feet, um, then you will be able to tell the difference at the end of the day. There's acoustical benefits. The cushion just absorbs more sound than a hardback product. Um, there are actually thermal properties. I mean, it, it comes close to, I think it's an R15 rating on the, on the cushion back. It gives you insulation properties. Um, so there, there's a lot of benefits to um, the cushion back tile in addition to the moisture mitigation system. The carpet tile is a moisture mitigation system in and of itself. I honestly can't tell you how many times I've had the conversations with customers. A guy will call and say, look, I put carpet in this school. Um, it's new construction. And I'll say, great. Our carpet tile standard adhesive lifetime warranty. And he'll say, okay, but who's doing the testing? I'm like, no, you don't have to test. He says, no, okay, so if I'm not gonna do the test, who has to test for RH and pH? The GC? I'm like, no, no. Nobody has, you don't have to test, right? It's a time savings, it's a cost savings. You do not have to test in most situations because, right, you know, we we manage the dissipation of the moisture vapor and who cares about pH limits if there's never any liquid water. So, yeah, a lot of benefits besides, in, in addition to the moisture mitigation system. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a cost savings for installing the tile with the cushion backing instead of a, a hardback or PVC? Uh, absolutely, there is. 
uh, touched on that just a little bit, but in practical reality, look, when you go into um, a renovation, let's say, and you have to strip up Broadloom, a lot of times that adhesive is crystallized and it's breaking away and you have the high ridges and the low ridges. Um, you, you don't have to scrape all that up. All you got to do is just knock down the high point, sweep up the floor and install. So there's massive savings in installation time just because you don't have to prep the floor so much. And because our adhesives and our, chem, our, our tiles are non-reactive, you can even pull up tile uh, that's been on the floor. And if the adhesive's still down, you can put our adhesive on top of it and our carpet tile on top of our adhesive. There won't be a chemical reaction because it's, an, it, it's, it's a non-reactive product. There's no plasticizers in it. It's a PVC-free product. That's really critical. That's key. I mean, PVC is a big environmental issue, but it's also a chemistry issue because with PVC tiles, those plasticizers leach out over time. And if you have to prep the floor and spent money on the right adhesive, then you can have a chemical reaction that can cause you a lot of problems. With Millikan's, it's non-reactive. You will never have that problem. Are there any upcharges for the cushion backing system? That's a good question. You know, I didn't really talk about that, but we don't offer any carpet tile except with the cushion back products. So there are no upcharges for um, having the cushion back carpet tile. It's our standard product. It comes in two different thicknesses. Uh, we call it our Wellback system, Wellback Comfort and Wellback Comfort Plus. They're the exact same chemistry, except one is just a little bit thicker than the other. It provides a little bit more underfoot comfort, a little bit more cushion. Same product, though. It's standard on every carpet tile that we sell. No upcharges. All right. Um and then if there is a high pH slab and alkaline salt mounding occurs, will the job still be warranted? Are you, if I'm just kind of assuming that you're talking about you, um, you pick up the old carpet and you see a bunch of that white crystallized salt on top of the floor. Um, if that's the case, then all you got to do is remove it and put the carpet tile down on top of it, just like you were installing any other job. And yes, it will be warranted. And the reason we can say that is um, uh, the salts are only going to engage the pH if there's liquid water there. So if you just scrape it up, sweep it up, whatever, get those salts, crystallized salts off the top of the concrete slab and then put down our adhesive and put down our carpet tile. Any moisture vapor that travels up through that concrete slab is going to travel right through the carpet tile out into the environment. You won't have the formation of liquid water, so who cares what the pH is? And yes, we do warrant those installations. All right, it looks like that's our last question we've got in here for now. Um, is there anything else you'd like to, to add, Russell? Um, look, some of this sounds too good to be true, and when we put this offering this offering we call it our site related solutions offering right um we put this out in the marketplace two to two and a half years ago and we believe we really truly changed the market we've caused our competitors to respond we've it's caused us to become better uh, because of that uh, but this system has a foolproof record and uh you know, it offers a lot of peace of mind. It offers cost savings. It offers peace of mind because Millican takes on the responsibility. And we love to hear what you're dealing with. So if you go to a job, if you're specking a job or have questions about the best adhesive to use or about the warranty that we may provide with that, or really just kind of figuring out where we need to go, um, we've learned a lot more about concrete than we ever thought we would over the last two to two and a half years. And we have a lot of experts in our technical department, and we love to hear what you're dealing with. And you heard me talk about solutions for moisture mitigation, for floors that have been chemically abated, uh, for oily floors. If you have another situation out there that you're struggling with or that you deal with all the time, I would love to hear about that because we pride ourselves on being able to develop solutions for our customers. And look, we, we believe that you, we're in this for the long haul. I told you Millikan's 155 years old. You won't see us chasing a job. 
you, you will see us chasing relationships and long-term relationships. I mean, we believe in building relationships with our customers and end users and dealers and partners. So, you know, we're in it for the long haul. We've got a great track record. We would love to talk to you guys about any opportunities that you have out there. Um, love to hear what you're dealing with. So hopefully we can help with solutions. Uh, so if you ever have any questions, feel free to call our technical department. We will assist you in any way we can. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so on behalf of the FCICA, thank you, Russell, for presenting today's webinar as sponsored by Millican. Uh, Sims, you may now navigate to the Submit Credit tab to complete the feedback survey and receive your credit. Uh, you have to be signed into the education platform for this feature to work. You can't have just typed your name in. So if you're not signed in, go ahead and and jump out and jump back in, um, sign in, and, and you'll be able to submit your credit there. If you have any issues with that, just let me know, um, and we'll get you, get you sorted out. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us, and have a wonderful rest of your day.